These reverse coloring postcards are one of my favorite things to make. The idea is for you to paint a colorful background and your recipient will reverse color onto it by drawing in shapes, patterns, and outlines. I'll add some examples at the end of this video so you can see what they look like after they've been drawn on. It's a really fun way to share creativity. For this project, you're going to need watercolor paper. Then print out the free postcard template I made onto the back side. It explains how to use this postcard and has a spot for the address and the stamp. The link to download this template is below. You're also going to need some paint brushes. I like having some different shapes and sizes, and my favorite brush is this water brush. The links to all the supplies I'm using are listed below. And you're also going to need some watercolors. Any type will work, just don't forget to activate the paint by spraying or brushing on some water to wet the paint first. I'll be using the Sakura Koi Pocket Field Sketch Kit. Lastly, you want to have a cup of water and paper towels are always a good idea. The template is printed onto the back of the watercolor paper, so we're going to flip this over so we can paint on the front. I love the wet on wet technique because I feel like it creates lots of cool shapes, so I'm going to start off by brushing clean water onto the paper. I like using a flat brush for this, and your paper shouldn't be soaking wet, but you should be able to see a thin shiny layer on it. I'm going to switch brushes and I'm going to use my water brush to add the watercolor. I like the water brush because you can squeeze extra water onto the paper if you need it. So I'm just going in and adding some different colors, lines, and shapes. This is where you get to have fun, so don't worry about it being perfect. All you have to do is cover up the paper. You can use as many colors as you'd like and make some interesting lines and shapes. Remember that your recipient will be drawing onto it. So while I don't go into this with a specific picture in mind that I want them to outline, I try to vary the markings that I make and use a lot of colors so they have a variety of things to look at and use their imaginations on. Once I cover the page where the postcard template is, I go back and add in some splatters and drops of paint, just to add some more variety and textures. When you're done painting, you can set the pages aside to dry. If you feel like you missed some spots, you can definitely add more paint while it's drying. They're gonna come out a little bit darker, but it's totally fine. Here are my pages after they are fully dry. You can tell that the paper is curling, so I'm going to gather them and stack a bunch of books and paper pads on top of them overnight to try to flatten it out. It's the next day and let's see how they're doing. They are definitely a lot flatter now, so let's move on to the next step and cut them out. I'm just going to flip the paper over and use the lines as a guideline. And I'm just trimming inside the black lines. I'm using a paper cutter, but if you don't have one, you can also use scissors. I've been using this Rototrim paper cutter for, I think, 10 years now. And if you're someone who does a lot of paper crafting or make paper goods, I highly recommend getting one. It's worth the investment, it's high quality and stays sharp, and is one of my favorite tools. And here are our finished postcards. I think these are so fun to send out because it's kind of like looking at clouds and one shape can look like so many different things to different people. I sent out some postcards recently and here are some examples of what each person added. Vanessa used white gel pens and black ink pens to add some abstract shapes to hers. Claudia took a collage approach and glued on plastic pieces, trim, and a star to create a bunch of balloons. And EB painted a scene with trees and grass onto her postcard. Danny took a photo of the postcard and used his iPad to draw on it, including a vintage lady, a clown, and a snake hatching. If you're not sure what to write on the postcard, look up some quotes on creativity and add your favorite one to it. And while this idea is for the person who receives it to draw on it, they can also use the postcards as collage paper or for other crafts. I hope you have fun making these and sending them out. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to create with you again very soon.